Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's take a look at three types of relationships found in almost every ecosystem. Competition, predator and prey relationships, and symbiosis. All organisms need nutrients, water, a space to grow, and possibly a mate. Often, these resources are in short supply. In fact, the carrying capacity of an environment is the maximum population size of a species that an environment can support. This scarcity of limited resources leads to competition between different species, but also between organisms of the same species. Intraspecific competition is competition within the same species. These owls compete against one another for the same rats, moles, and shrews. These male zebras compete with one another for a female mate. These pine trees that grow close to one another compete for sunlight and nutrients in the soil. These water buffalo compete against one another for water, food, and a mate. And these hippos are also competing for food, water, and possibly a mate. Interspecific competition is competition between different species. Trees in a tropical rainforest compete for sunlight and nutrients in the soil. Bears and wolves compete for the same food. Lions and hyenas, they compete for food. In fact, they even like to take each other's food. The predator-prey relationship has been going on for a long time. The predator hunts the prey, and the prey tries to outsmart the predator. A couple examples. Bears are the predator, and the salmon is the prey. This Venus flytrap is the predator, and insects like flies will be the prey. This lynx is the predator, and the snowshoe hare is the prey. Symbiosis describes a close interaction between two or more different species. In this video, I will focus on three types. They are mutualism, in which both organisms benefit, commensalism, in which one organism benefits and the other is neither helped nor harmed, and parasitism, in which one benefits and the other is harmed, or maybe even killed. Okay, let's look at some examples of mutualism. First, each one of us has a personalized collection of bacteria called a microbiome living within us. This microbiome or bacteria break down carbohydrates and toxins. They help us absorb fatty acids and they also protect your cells and the intestines from invading pathogens. In return, the bacteria get a nice place to live and food to eat. Next, termites. Termites are nature's recyclers and they break down the cellulose of trees and decaying wood. However, the termites cannot digest this cellulose themselves. Instead, they depend on one-celled protozoa. These protozoa live in the stomachs of the termites, and in return, they get food to eat and a place to live. So it's, again, it's a win-win. Next is commensalism. Remember, one benefits, and the other is neither helped nor harmed. Hermit crabs live in the shells of once abandoned snails. This relationship helps the hermit crab because it gives them some protection, but these snails don't really care. Next, squirrels. They live and stay in trees for protection, yet the tree is neither helped nor harmed. Next, you have these tiny little mites, and they hitch a ride on flies. The mites are equipped with some type of method to grip onto the insect and they get transported around. This phoretic mite is just a hitchhiker and does not feed during this time of being carried around. The mites receive transportation, but the fly is neither help nor harm. And finally, we have parasitism. One benefits, yet the other is harm. Lampreys, which are these strange looking primitive fish, have a very limited digestive system. They attach and feed on the body of other fish with more advanced digestive systems, and many times it will lead to the death of the host fish. This next one is, falls under life is strange. A cuckoo, which is a bird, lays its eggs in a warbler's nest. 
The cuckoo young will knock the warbler's eggs out of the nest when they're born, and then the warbler will raise the cuckoo's young. Not very nice. So there we go. Take a look at some types of symbiosis and symbiotic relationships. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.